Good morning, everybody. My granddaughter and I are gonna make green chili chicken enchiladas for lunch. I put two chicken breasts and a bunch of water in my crock pot at three o'clock this morning. I have to get up in the middle of the night anyway. And cooked it for eight hours on low. And then when you take those chicken breasts out, put them on a plate, you can shred them with a fork super easy. They would just fall apart. Okay, I only need two cups for my recipe. So that's what's in the measuring cup, is two cups of shredded chicken. And then you put that in a larger bowl. You add the can of green chilies, and my daughter's show, granddaughter's showing you everything, and a cup of cheese. Stir that all up. Then I put the green chili enchilada sauce in a small skillet, heat that up, and then uh, when it's hot, I dip my tortillas in it one by one, of course, to get it uh, coated, put it on a plate, then take your chicken mixture and put a row down the middle of your, inch, uh, your tortilla. And then you put your sour cream in a baggie and nip off a little corner so you can squirt it out in a row. You put that on top of your chicken mixture. Then you fold it up. I do it like a burrito so both ends are tucked in. And you place it seam side down in a baking dish that you've sprayed with nonstick spray. When you've got all of your uh, enchiladas made, then you pour the remaining green chili enchilada sauce on top and top the whole thing with another cup of cheese. And that's it, and they're really good. <laughs> okay, thanks, I'll be back. Okay, that recipe came from Lil Luna, L-I-L and then L-U-N-A dot com. And it's her green chili chicken enchiladas. She has lots of different enchilada recipes and Tex-Mex. I really like her recipes. <clears throat> Okay, the enchiladas are out of the oven. It made 10. We might could have got a dozen if we really tried. That is Mexican rice back there, and then I'm going to make a salad. And there's lunch. <laughs>